writing style informative hey there healthcare heroes today i'm diving into a crucial topic for nurses aiming to expand their horizons internationally the occupational english test or oet whether you're from pakistan or any part of the globe Mastering the OET is your gateway to practicing in the UK and other English-speaking countries. So, let's get you prepped and ready. First things first, understanding the OET structure is key. The test assesses your communication skills in English across four areas. Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. All tailored to mimic real healthcare scenarios. This means you're not just proving your English proficiency, but also your ability to effectively operate in a healthcare environment. For those of you tuning in from Pakistan or similar regions, it's essential to get familiar with the specific requirements and expectations of the countries you're interested in. Each country might have slightly different benchmarks, even though the core of the OET remains the same. Now on to preparation. I can't stress enough the importance of practice. Begin with the basics of medical English, then gradually move to past OET papers and simulate real test conditions. Remember, Practice is what bridges the gap between learning and performing. Another tip, engage in study groups or find a study buddy. Discussing and practicing together can enhance your understanding and expose you to different accents and terminologies, which is incredibly beneficial given the global context of the OET. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of feedback. Whether it's from peers, mentors, or through professional coaching, constructive criticism is invaluable. It helps you pinpoint areas that need more attention and refine your skills effectively. Wrapping up, remember that preparing for the OET is not just about passing a test. It's about preparing yourself for a successful career in global healthcare environments. Equip yourself with patience, persistence, and the right resources, and you're sure to excel. That's all for today. I hope these tips help you feel more confident and prepared for your OET journey. Stay motivated, keep practicing, and remember, you're not just enhancing your language skills, but also paving the way for a promising global career in nursing. See you next time.